In this lesson, we are going to take a look at tax incidents. How does a tax imposed by the government impact consumer and producer surplus? Well, when we see a tax, we know that it results in a leftward shift in supply. Price will increase and quantity will decrease. Well, the government taxes because they want money. We call this tax revenue. So where in this graph would we find tax revenue? Tax revenue can be found when we take a look at the vertical distance between our supply curves. So I bring this all the way over here and tax revenue is seen in these two areas. This entire square represents tax revenue. So, what does this mean for consumer and producer surplus? The price consumers have to pay is not what producers get to keep. We know that prices increase when we have taxes, meaning that when prices go up, quantity demanded could also go down. When prices go up, this results in items being more costly for consumers. So this entire area here, we find our demand curve with, this, with our new price. This entire area represents consumer surplus. But as we just said, the price consumers have to pay is not what producers get to keep. So our producer surplus is also going to decrease. This entire area represents producer surplus. They are losing revenue as a result of this tax. So this area in red represents producer surplus. But once again, we have a problem. And this problem is being shaded in black. We have a loss of consumer and producer surplus that was once present before this tax. And we call this dead weight loss. As you can see, when we have a leftward shift in supply as, as a result of this tax, quantity demanded goes down and quantity supplied goes down as well, resulting in a decrease in consumer surplus and a decrease in producer surplus and the government gets a big chunk of change in tax revenue from both consumers and producers.